I'm planning on doing something different tonight for my devotional. Instead of having you watch me, I thought I'd show some video from our last trip to Arizona and just remember the, the beauty of what God has put into this earth. As I read to you from Isaiah chapter 40, where Isaiah gives hope to the people who are hopeless. In the middle of a dangerous and confusing time, Isaiah prophesied about the judgment of God, but he also gave hope from God. Isaiah chapter 40 gives us that hope. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, In the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. See, the Sovereign Lord comes with power, and He rules with a mighty arm. See, His reward is with Him, and His recompense accompanies Him. He tends His flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in His arms and carries them close to His heart. He gently leads those that have young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of His hand, and with the breadth of His hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket? or weighed the mountains on the scales and the hills in a balance? Who can fathom the Spirit of the Lord, or instruct the Lord as his counselor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him, and who taught him the right way? Who was it that taught him knowledge or showed him the path of understanding? To whom will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry hosts one by one and calls them forth, each of them by name, because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, my cause is disregarded by my God? Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the hope that you always bring, even in the most difficult and dark times. I pray that we will put our faith in you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Good night, you all. Love you all. Take care.